Back, we're talking about initiation in the light of deaths we've seen throughout the country over the past five years. Over 300 uh, initiates who died, but also hundreds of them being admitted in hospitals across the nation. We're saying, what are we doing as a nation to make sure that we avoid um, these death can, in fact, be avoided? Uh, Prince, I want to come to the issue of the collapse of societal structures because as traditional leaders you live among communities what are you doing to make sure that for example the issues of single parents how are those people how do you come to the rescue of those women so that their kids do not die simply because they do not have fathers who can actually look after them yeah well uh, the disintegration of social institutions uh, with families um, as the primary structure is a matter of serious concern and obviously uh, we also have to understand it within a particular context and that context is the around uh, the impact of what we can refer to as acculturation you know when two cultures <clears throat> uh, come into conduct and uh, one dominant culture exercising its hegemony uh, employ imperialistic tendencies which then overshadow uh, the other culture. So that's, that is what has actually happened uh, in our context. And therefore, it has been a, a systematic, uh, concerted and well-orchestrated plan, you know, so as to, uh, so as to ensure that the generation of this time has totally lost the fabric and, 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 and fiber, the DNA of its uh, natural heritage. So as traditional leaders, we, in partnership with government and all other institutions of civil society, we continue to encourage uh, this consciousness because it is only through this consciousness that we can be able to regenerate and restore uh, the, 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 our societal values and norms. I guess um, the question to you, MSC, is that as an elected <coughs> public representative, to what extent is government actually doing something to make sure, yes, it's going to take a while to actually deal with um, uh, what apartheid and colonialism did to us and to our culture. But the question is, have you moved fast enough mm -hmm. as government, as elected public representatives, to make sure that we move with speed towards addressing yes. actually... Oh yes, certainly I can confirm. This is a new development, <coughs> as we were indicating. In the past 10 years, <coughs> this was not uh, this high challenge. The commercialization aspect of this world tradition, um, the price tag that is put uh, per initiate, and how much and how many boys under this uh, traditional circumstances, tra traditional nest, for instance, is an issue. I indicated the area of peer pressure here, the assault and the abuse of initiates. At times, these are the contributing factors. As I was saying, there is no authority, there is no word, there is no one who is looking after. Kubani Usosut, who is the head of this uh, uh, group of young boys that are graduating to manhood. Uh, was there a parental consent to say this is a traditional sergeant, a traditional nurse that has been identified by the family? In most cases, those are not individuals that are even known by the parents themselves. The issue of age and underage boys that cannot even stomach what is expected uh, physically and mentally. And that's why we are saying as government, they must be prepared. Parents must be involved. They must be informed and be told. They must be educated even prior such that they become much more aware of the situation. But as government, we have said, traditional leaders take leadership. All our traditional councils and kingdoms open a scope such that we go to, now we are moving towards Zimbumba, Yamakoska, Zakomkulu as mothers of the nation, mothers of the tribe, to say the time now has come for them as well to say mobilize women, parents, single uh, women who are in charge of these boys speak to them and address this matter such that there is no collapse of that relationship. The question, I guess, Prince, is whether you've indeed <coughs> taken charge. You and I were part of a summit a few months ago yes. where it was decided that decisive action is going to be taken and with speed. Has anything happened since? Yeah. In fact, 
in all traditional councils where traditional leaders uh, take leadership, there is absolutely uh, no casualty, no fatality. And uh, as the Honorable MEC has said it quite succinctly that where we have a challenge is eastern part of the province. And I think uh, the engagement that we have had will soon translate into a drastic paradigm shift in terms of um, full engagement, in terms of equally eliminating uh, these fatalities. Mr. Somaila, I guess the question is, can we really, what are, what are, the, what are, what are these, in, in playing a supportive role, yes. what is it that you are asking both the politicians, Nengo Kelizom Tonyama, to actually do to help to make your job a little easier? Thank you again. <laughs> I think what is important uh, I should be asking the leadership is to lead us and guide us in terms of how we should be managing this and preventing these deaths. Secondly, we, our role, we understand it as to prevent all the complications that are related to health. We're supporting, therefore, the, the, the House of Traditional Leaders and working with them in the program that has been developed together with the House. And I, I must say that the House is leading us. Currently, as Ngosungama says, indicated that currently there are outreach programs that are going out through the Eastern Pondolan area, which we are part of. And on top of that, there are also local imbizos and communities where we are running programs of educating the communities and educating them and preparing them for the next season. Second, we are also engaging in terms of educating schools, working with the Department of Education to reach out to schools. We, work, we, we have a program that we have developed which is where we believe that if we all pull together and being led by the House of Traditional Leaders and all the leaders in, in concern, we should be able to be able to prevent this death. As the Honorable indica MEC indicated, there is not only about this circumstance, there is quite a lot of issues that needs to be addressed in the context of what is happening now. Thank you. Gentlemen, it's time to take another quick commercial break. We'll be back right after this.